Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of The Bedroom. I'm Anthony Mitchell, and as always, you are YouTube. It's going to be something similar to what I was doing last time, trying to get the same sort of reaction. Uh, there was massive debate on Facebook about this, so, you know, I just want people to start talking about it. First thing I'd like to start with is the fact that myself and a few of my friends, uh, Lillian and Georgina, and my girlfriend, um, Kelsey, all got nominated for something that's called Showdown. Now, Showdown is a secondary school competition. We got nominated for our Year 13 production called Hard to Swallow. Uh, it's about an anorexic girl. Uh, it covers her life with her family and how they struggle through it. It's something that we can all be proud of. Our Year 13 class is absolutely amazing. They're my favourite class at school. Uh, we're like a second family, basically, to each other. So it's awesome that this is happening and that we can get recognised. And also my drama teacher, Miss Bolt, is uh, up for nomination. So well done to her and well done to everyone. I'll quickly touch on it. Not really something that I want to talk too much about because I talked about it last time. Paul Henry resigned from breakfast over the weekend. People are saying that it's completely unfair. I tend to agree with them. I don't think he deserved to A, be fired or B, leave. I thought that his comments were bad at the time. They were racist even if you deny the fact that they were. I think we'll see him back on something like Talk Back Radio or something similar. That's something you didn't know about me. Uh, I love basketball. Um, I've been a Heat supporter for a long time now. Even before they had the big three, if you know what I'm talking about. When the season starts in 14 days. I'm so pumped you have no idea. What else is there to talk about? Oh. What I'm looking for now, um, from anyone that watches the videos, is actually an intro animation. The video starts pretty abruptly the first time, so I'm looking for something that's along the lines of sort of an animation of any kind, uh, and, yeah, just an intro. My friend Chris Yellowlees is trying to, um, figure out some music for me, so good on you, Chris. One thing that I forgot to mention in my other video is that whenever you watch the video, and if you like it, um, subscribe. Uh, and thumbs up the video. The more thumbs up I get, the more views, the more subscriptions. Uh, basically means that the video will get more publicity. I'm hoping maybe at some point to get a better camera. The digital SLR, they've got high definition video on them. It'll mean that the video quality is better than this. Even though I paid $113 for this camera just so that I could start vlogging, <laughs> my friend Georgia asked me how long I spend talking to myself to make these videos. This one's taken half an hour of my time, so I spent half an hour talking to myself just so that you can listen to me. Isn't that narcissistic? Talk to myself so that I can then hear myself on the World Wide Web. Yeah, so this is the bedroom. Uh, there's not much to show you to be honest. Uh, posters, my bed, it's nice and comfortable. Uh, obviously my computer chair. Um, there's posters on this wall and there's a window there. My bookshelf is in the corner there. Choice. A big thank you to everyone that's watched this so far. Uh, to get nearly 200 views in three days off a whim sort of video is pretty cool. Remember to tell your friends about this channel. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos. And if anyone has this sort of like a handy cam that they want to lend me so that I can go out and do field sort of videos so I can record some stuff and bring it back and put it in. That'd be nice. Oh shit, that's creepy. No, don't, you wouldn't give you wouldn't give anything to a guy that looked like that. <laughs> Over the weekend, um, the social network opened, and if you didn't know, it's actually about the site that you're most likely seeing the link to this from. That's right. It's all about Facebook, and it's about the creation by Zuckerberg. It paints him in a pretty awful light, and he actually took 1,200 of his staff to see the social network over the weekend. And what <laughs> cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> is the fact that he told everyone that he wasn't going to go see it because it was all fiction. One of the PR people said they thought that this film might be amusing to Facebook staff. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, why would you take your Facebook staff to see that? It's like, oh, here's a portrayal of Zuckerberg that's basically painting your boss as this self-obsessed, socially dysfunctional asshole. Asshole, ass, asshole, ah, does it really matter? I think for now that's all I have time for. My sister actually gets back from Europe tomorrow, so I gotta get an early night going to the airport tomorrow. She'd get me a present, right? 
I'm sure she'd get me a present. Anyway, that's all I have time for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, there'll be another vlog up soon. It's only been three days since my last one. I didn't think I'd actually get around to making another one before th this. The response has been great. Thank you very much. Comments, everything, un in the underbar, uh, in the comments section. And you stay classy, YouTube. You stay classy, YouTube. That that was that was that was just for lulls.